Lineage of Kriya Yoga, and I have been initiated into Kriya Yoga by my father and my Sadguru, Yogi Raj Siddhanath, who is a blessed Himalayan master and has a Babaji Shiv Goraksha Babaji. It is said that Lord Shiva takes the form of Gorakshanath to manifest himself on this earth for uh, the benefit and uh, as the savior of humanity and as the custodian of the universe. Kriya Yoga is a process of spinal breathing which is a very ancient science uh, right from the time of Satya Yoga, Prabhu Sri Ramchandra, then uh, Lord Sri Krishna, uh, Bhagavan Gautam Buddha, Bhagavan Patanjali. So all through the ages Kriya Yoga has been mentioned with different names such as Siddha Siddhanta Paddhati, then it came as uh, Raj Yoga, then it was mentioned as the Ashtanga Yoga, which was given by Bhagavan Patanjali. The great grandfather of Kriya Yoga is uh, Yoga Avatar Sri Shamacharan Dev Lahiri, uh, who is also known as Lahiri Mahasaya. He, with the blessings and the permission of his uh, Guru Mahavatar Babaji, Shiv Goraksha Babaji, simplified this uh, ancient science of Siddha Siddhanta Paddhati into a simple uh, formula of spinal breathing so that every common man, every householder man and woman who are, uh, who are married, having children, uh, doing their day-to-day -day, uh, job, earning money, even they can avail of spiritual science. So for the benefit of society at large, it was uh, Lahiri Mahasaya who simplified this uh, ancient science and called it Kriya Yoga. Then further it was taken to the West by Paramahansa Yoganand and given to the West where he simplified it even further. He uh, then relaxed uh, the, author, uh, the orthodox uh, ways of, you know, you have to sit in a certain posture, you have to sit for so many, so many hours and all these uh, very staunch and uh, uh, very hard rules were softened a little and uh, people then could sit in chairs do Kriya Yoga. Over the years it got simplified but the, the magic of this uh, science is that uh, though it was simplified for the common man the effects, the results that, that were gained from Kriya Yoga were still the same like any Rishi or any uh, uh, tapasvi or um, any rishi or muni uh, who did it around say 20,000 years ago gets the same effect and the modern day man who is doing it today will also get the same effect maybe a little slower but will get the same effect provided he does it with that diligence so the process of spinal breathing helps us to magnetize the spinal cord with piezoelectricity and create an electromagnetic circuit around us through which rises the Kundalini which is in the Muladhar Chakra and goes and enters into the Agya Chakra. Once the awakening of Kundalini happens, the human being is said to have uh, realized himself uh, not as the mind or the emotion or the ego but to re have realized his soul consciousness, to have realized himself as the soul then the Mahamudra, then the Nabho Kriya, the Jyoti Mudra. These are various stages, uh, various uh, types and patterns of spinal breathing with restraint, which is known as Kumbhak. You breathe into a certain amount, you hold the breath inside, then you breathe out, then you hold the breath outside. So, Antar Kumbhak, Bhaiya Kumbhak, these are the various forms of holding the breath. So, that is what the patterns of Kriya Yoga are like.